Hi, I have a message for James Comey, FBI Director, Loretta Lynch, U.S. Attorney General, Hillary Clinton, presidential candidate, and Barack Obama. Every morning for seven years, every morning for seven years, you may not understand this sort of concept, every year for seven years, from kindergarten through sixth grade, I got up, went to school, put my hand over my heart, which you seem to have a problem doing, and I said the Pledge of Allegiance to the United States of America and to the values on which it stands. Those values are enumerated in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Yesterday, you decided to let high people in high places go scot-free, basically to skate. I want to remind you that as a citizen, I hold you in contempt for doing that. No one is above the law, the law of our land. And you have basically, as far as I'm concerned, you have broken the law by allowing lawbreakers to walk free. Lawbreakers who have endangered and or basically allowed others to get killed on their watch. Manslaughter. At minimum, manslaughter. You are responsible for that. And there's also a little message in here for the Republicans in our government at this point in time, especially on a national level. You are allowing this to happen. It is your fault as well. And the citizens of the United States are not going to tolerate a Supreme Court that is going to take away our rights. Our rights to free speech. Our rights to a gun. Our rights to not have our privacy invaded. It's not going to happen. Not on my watch. I will not allow it to happen. You can elect all the people you want to who are going to circum try to attempt to circumvent that. But I will not allow it to happen in my country that I pledged allegiance to many, many years in a row and then on top of that many times as an adult. And when I did it, I meant it. And I think there's a lot of other people out there that will agree with what I'm saying today and you just better watch out because we're here and we're not happy. You've broken the law. Just don't push us, okay? Thank you.